Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today we're actually making another air dry clay craft. We're making um, a figurine. So in order to make your custom figurine, what you're going to need is obviously some air dry clay and some tin foil for the center. I usually use polymer clay and resin for this, but I've actually been trying out something new and using air dry clay. I think it's more accessible in lots of other places and I'm trying not to use resin so much in my real life anymore due to, you know, all the little nasties that go into it. And yeah, I just think it's healthier to be using air dry clay and using actually like water based supplies so that's what I've been doing anyway to make the base of the head I just took some tin foil roll that out into a ball to create like the inside of it and then I just cover that in a smooth thin amount of clay to make the head in order to add support for the body I took some craft wire cut that down with my wire cutters and then inside of that almost like a spine throughout the piece I wrapped some more tin foil around the base of it to make the kind of base of the body and covered that in clay as well and just smoothed that out blending it into the head to add on all the details as you can see i just pinched together some air dry clay and then i actually used a sculpting tool which is just a silicone based one dipped in some water just to blend that down and smooth that out and this was so good like it felt so therapeutic to be able to do this in order to attach the arms i actually just did the little criss crossy like pattern to attach that on the back of the arm and also on the base of the piece so that it would just blend together and once i had done two of those i decided to add a little scalloped collar just for some extra detail Detail. so the way that i actually got that scallop edge was i used some fabric scissors they had the scallop edge on i just cut a thin strip and then just cut a straight line along the edge to make that collar then blended at the top of the scallop edge as you can see here um just so that that top edge blended into the head and i didn't take away from any of the scallop detail i then added a little bow as you can see tiny little balls and i just kind of stuck the end of my silicone sculpting tool into either side of those and stuck another ball in between so i'm not gonna lie like working with air dry clay is definitely Definitely a much different task to work with polymer clay obviously um, you have to like blend it differently you've got to use water to smooth it out you can have a, like a limited window in order to obviously like work with it because it does dry out and you have to wait a while for it to obviously dry out as well you can't just pop it in the oven because it will crack um but yeah i've been really enjoying learning the new skill of like working with air dry clay as opposed to polymer clay with all the plastics and obviously trying to avoid the resin as well because i'm trying to just be a little bit healthier at the moment but yeah once i had all of the sculpting done i added the eyes on the buttons on and it was all smooth and i was happy with that i just inserted an eye pin so that it gave it a little um, hole there to dry and I left that for about a day so I'm gonna leave this little break here as a little thank you to today's sponsor because if you're also looking to learn another new creative skill like I am this autumn then today's sponsor Craftsy will be exactly what you need. Craftsy is an online community of creatives helping like-minded makers like you and me to level up their crafts with over 2,000 classes in more than 20 creative categories including baking, cake decorating, drawing, sewing painting there's always something new to learn i'm learning how to crochet the cutest corn dog plushies as i join the new crafty class funny guru by brenda kb anderson this class is excellent for beginners like me as she shares step-by-step -step demonstrations and there's even bonus pdf instructions for me to take on the go she also shares how to make the cutest cat burgers i know you guys will absolutely love just look how cute they are i can't wait to make them myself as a member of crafty you will get a limited access to thousands of classes and what's even more amazing is that the first 1000 of my subscribers to click the link in the video description down below will get a full year of premium membership to craftsy for only one dollar and 49 cents that's just one dollar and 49 cents for the premium membership to over 2000 classes that we spoke about can you believe that i know anyway the links to everything will be down in the description for you to check out thank you so much crafty for sponsoring at this portion of today's video and back to the painting and glazing of our little custom figure so like i said painting wise on the air dry clay this again is a little bit different to polymer clay i find that acrylic paints don't quite stick as well to the base of air dry clay unless you water down the first coat first so with the white on the hat of mine for example i did a nice like 50 50 ratio of acrylic paint and watery kind of mixture to begin with and just coated the whole thing in that and then i went into the details so i painted the face in so it looked like it was wearing a costume i painted all the base in the piece 
pink so it looked like it was like more in a nice little pink sleep suit painted in the details like the bow and the collar and the buttons in this gorgeous like off red raspberry color love this and then i also painted some little details on the bottom of the feet because i wanted it to look like it's wearing a sleep suit with those little gripper dots on the bottom does anyone know what i mean and then i painted on some pockets and some details i did add all this cross on the buttons i didn't like the top one so much with the buttonhole so i painted over that and redid it i then painted the inside of the eyes the mouth look how cute it is coming together then i thought it looked a little bit plain and even though i was going to be putting glitter in the glaze i decided to add some dots all the way around just using a thick acrylic marker and that worked out really really nice actually a nice quick like easy um decorative way to spruce it up you know so in order to glaze this as i said i'm making my air dry figurines nice and shiny without resin i actually like to put a glitter coat on like i used to do with all my resin pieces so i mix up some fine glitter and some hexagon glitter into some like high gloss glaze and put on two layers of that as you can see this already changes it completely so shiny so glossy so glassy absolutely gorgeous i let that dry in between the layers and i also put two extra layers of it just plain clear glaze on top this is what it looks like in real life do you see that i've taken outside this is no filters look how shiny that is absolutely stunning so hopefully you've taken away some inspiration to create your own custom figure even if you're not into using polymer clay or resin then yeah hopefully this has sparked some inspiration because i'm really pleased with how it's turned out and i loved working with a different material for me like i said thank you so much to crafty for sponsoring today's video and making it possible for me to take the time to create this piece if you are in the market to learn something new and you want to check out crafty especially for that one dollar 49 cents membership then the link to that will be down in the description thank you so much to crafty for sponsoring the video thank you to you for watching and i'll see you very soon for another one